The Blue Plaque Award is an international program that celebrates the links between important people or events and the buildings to which they were connected. The Heritage Stratford Committee is pleased to award blue plaques in our community. In 2021, a blue plaque was awarded to 138 Wells Street in honor of Richard Manuel. Born in Stratford on April 3, 1943, Richard Manuel and his three brothers grew up at 138 Wells Street, where the family moved in 1948. Their father, Ed, was a mechanic and mother, Gladys, was a school teacher. Richard started playing piano at age nine and was rehearsing music with friends at the Manuel home by the time he was 12. When he was 15 in early 1959, Manuel helped form a local band called The Revels. The original members were Ken Kilmusky, later of Great Speckled Bird on bass, John Till, later with Janis Joplin's Full Tilt Boogie Band on guitar, and Richard Manuel on piano and lead vocal. The lineup later expanded to include Doug Rhodes and Garth Pico. The Revels were a favorite band in Stratford. Many people still talk about their memories of seeing the band. They are honored in Allen's Alley. The Revels played across southern Ontario and in the summer of 1960, they opened for Ronnie Hawkins and the Hawks in Port Dover. The following spring, Hawkins opened for the Revels at the Stratford Coliseum. After that show, he offered to manage the band. By mid-September of 1961, Hawkins had recruited the then 18-year-old Richard Manuel to be piano player in his own band, the Hawks. Manuel stayed with the Hawks until 1964, when that group was recruited to be Bob Dylan's backing band for a European tour. They then officially became the band in 1967. The band with Robbie Robertson played its final show in its original configuration on U.S. Thanksgiving Day of 1976. The concert was filmed by longtime fan Martin Scorsese for the classic documentary The Last Waltz. The band partially reformed in 1983, with Manuel staying until his death in 1986. The band was highly influential in the 1960s and 70s rock for its resonant fusion of rock, rhythm and blues, and country music. In particular, their debut album, Music from Big Pink, released in 1968, solidified their reputation as groundbreaking composers and musicians. Nicknamed The Beak for his protruding nose, Manuel was a beloved and respected songwriter and vocalist, influencing and collaborating with fellow artists Eric Clapton, Van Morrison, Willie Nelson, The Beach Boys, and Bonnie Raitt. Manuel's songs were widely covered by Cass Elliott, Joan Baez, and Blood, Sweat, and Tears. In November 1984, four original members of the Revels, Kelmusky, Manuel, Rhodes, and Till, reunited in Stratford as the Revels, opening for the band at two sold-out performances billed as the Band Revels Reunion Shows. It was a triumph. On March 4th, 1986, Richard Manuel died by suicide. He was a month away from his 43rd birthday and had endured many years of addiction to alcohol and drugs. He was buried a week later at Avondale Cemetery in Stratford after a service at Knox Presbyterian Church. John Till gave the eulogy. Rhodes, Till, and Kilmusky were pallbearers. In 2004, the city of Stratford honored Manuel with a sidewalk star on Ontario Street. There is also a memorial bench by the Avon River dedicated to him. In 1984, he was posthumously inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as a member of the band. In 2015, he was also inducted into the New York Blues Hall of Fame. The blue plaque for his childhood home was awarded in 2021.